Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm thrilled to be out here in California with Gretsch RV. And today I will show you the new 2024 Gretsch Turismo Ion with the all-wheel drive. So that's a new feature and option for 2024, which is great. Um, with that, we get the four-cylinder twin-turbo diesel engine Despite losing the two cylinders, you get more horsepower, more torque. So you go up to 208 horsepower and 332 pound foot of torque. So you're gonna love this coach and I'm so excited I get to show you it. The Turismo sits on the 144 inch wheelbase. You can get this again in the all wheel drive or the two wheel drive. So before I get to all the details of this gorgeous coach, I wanna remind you of one thing. I love making these videos, but I wanna make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers because we want to help you. We are located nationwide, so we have six locations. Um, we don't have Gretsch at all of our locations, unfortunately, but give us a call where we do have Gretsch. We've got a fly to buy, buy program, so it doesn't matter where you live, we can sell you this beautiful coach. So make sure the first thing you do after watching this video is give me a call. So there's a few things that I love about Gretsch. First of all, their quality is unmatched. Luxury B-Van coach, best in its class. Um, basically what I like to call wash and ready. So when it comes into National Indoor RV Centers, all we do is wash it from being transported to us and it's ready to go to our customers. So that's a great feature. The other thing that I love is when you look down the side of this van, there are no cutouts. They have a patent pending on their utility center, which is hidden below the stainless steel trim there and it's up higher so it's a lot easier to use but i just love the sleekness the beauty the class that you get with a gretsch rv so if you look to the very top of the van you've got your antenna for your coach then right behind the rear view mirror you've got the camera so that's going to help you with your traffic sign assist your lane keeping assist your active brake assist again all of safety features that Mercedes puts into the chassis. You've also got your uh, rain sensing windshield wipers. And another bonus with your windshield wipers is that the uh, fluid actually comes out of the windshield wipers and it totally saves you on the amount of windshield wiper fluid that you'll use. So that helps our environment, it's saves. And then you've got that beautiful windshield that's obviously automotively mounted, looks great. That's how you're gonna see this beautiful country. So then we come down here to, let's check out what's under the hood. All right, so we've got a lot of space over here and you're probably wondering, there's a couple things that are missing. First of all, um, typically you might have a battery here that's gonna be underneath the driver's seat. And then here in this area, we usually have the power steering fluid, but there's no power steering fluid because it's electric steering on this chassis now. Then we've got our brake fluid. We have our positive and our negative. So if we need to jump the van ever, this is where we're gonna do that. We've got our windshield wiper fluid here. And then we have our oil fill, engine air take. And then we have the coolant for the van. And then right inside here, we have the wick speed regulator, which works um, in conjunction with your lithium ion system. And then right up front, we've got our DEF, which is our diesel exhaust fluid. Now you don't have a dipstick in here because you're gonna be able to read the level at the dash. Um, same with your oil. A few little things to know about DEF. Uh, it does have a shelf life. It's good for about one year. Um, it doesn't like sunlight, it doesn't like heat. So just be you know, aware of when you fill it, how long it's been in there. Um, 
and you know bad DEF will cause the engine to throw different codes so you don't want to have bad DEF. Then we have the beautiful LED high performance headlights and the cornering fog lights. Right below here, we've got the sensors, the parking sensors. And then right in the center here is uh, going to be the sensor for your adaptive cruise control. And then you've got a little rubber pad right here. Well, that's where you can just step up so that you can clean your windshield um, when you need to get that. Or if you need to get up there, that's how you would do that right there. Now, right in front here, you see this little square. Behind this is the um, attachment, if you ever needed to be towed or pulled out of a situation, you would connect right there. Hopefully you never need to move that little uh, square from your van. Then you're also going to notice that there's a fiberglass skirting or kit that goes along the whole um, Turismo. That's a, again something that Gretsch adds. Um, specifically for their units. It makes it look really nice and high-end, painted just like the same color as your coach. So this is the blue-gray option. You have three other options, uh, tannerite gray, iridium silver, or gray white. Speaking of the fiberglass skirting, I wanna show you some of the things that Gretsch does under the van that's unique to just Gretsch. So we're actually underneath a Strata. So you'll see that the chassis is a little bit longer than it is on the Turismo. But what I'm going to show you today is exactly the same on the Turismo as it is on the Strata. So I wanted to show you that fiberglass skirting. So that is attached with stainless steel. So anything that Gretsch attach, attaches to the B-Van um, underneath the chassis here is going to be attached with stainless steel. So it's super strong. I could literally like do pull-ups right here. And if I pull on that uh, fiberglass skirting, it, it doesn't move. Like it doesn't wiggle at all. And you can see that stainless steel reinforcement is a reason why. And the other thing that's great about that obviously is that it's not going to rust. Um, you can see that they've added their step. So we have the power step uh, with Gretsch, which is really nice because it's a nice, strong, sturdy step. Again, I could hang from this. It's not going to move. That steel reinforcement. The other thing that I want you to notice under here is that there's no hanging wires. Um, everything's either zip tied or loomed. It's just nice and clean, and that's how it should be. Then you're going to be able to see your fresh water tank. Um, again, it's held in place by that stainless steel. We've got the heat pad. When you're inside the coach, there's a, a button for the heat pad to be, you just have that on. If it's on, the heat pad will automatically turn on when it's necessary. So for your freshwater tank, also for your gray tank, you've got the heat pad there as well. The other thing with the tanks is that they are 3D printed. So they are all the exact thick, thickness, much sturdier and stronger than your typical rotocast um, freshwater tank, gray tank, black tank. Gretsch gives you a three inch drain for your black tank, which is really nice, and they insulate areas that need to be insulated. So here we've got our exhaust. They have insulation there so that this doesn't get too um, hot. You can also see that even further up, we've got more insulation here. Your low point drains are also insulated, and then we have our timber line which is your on-demand hot water and heat for the unit. So Gretsch gives you the alloy wheels. If you see that your wheels are black, then you know that this is all-wheel drive. If they're silver or chrome, you know that it's gonna be two-wheel drive. Our side view mirrors, I love these. These are your saving grace. You've got your turn signal in here as well. They're internally controlled. You've got defrost. And then you are going to go back and see this beautiful stainless steel piece that runs along the whole side of both uh, the passenger and driver's side of the coach just makes it look beautiful. Again, we've got the skirting here, and then Gritch adds a nice sturdy step. So I can literally bounce on this, and you can see that the coach is not moving. So nice and sturdy. That's one of the things that you don't get with a lot of other B-Vans is a nice big step that your whole foot will, will fit on. So Gretsch RV has been around for over 40 years. Mr. Gretsch himself um, has been in this business of custom luxury 
autos for over 40 years. And so you see that in some of the B vans. So I'm gonna point out some of those details as we go along that really make it stand out as a difference. So for one thing, you've got the vinyl woven flooring here that's essentially waterproof. If you spill on it, you can just wipe it right out. Um, it doesn't soak in. And then you've got the three quarter inch composite honeycomb below. So nice, sturdy, uh, strong floor, but it's not heavy. And then you'll notice the aluminum extruded um, edge here. So uh, Mr. Gretsch has made, you know, custom limos, custom party buses, where people walk in and out of those thousands of times. Well, you can see that in this step here, you can walk in and out of this coach thousands of times and that's never gonna look any different. You've got the um, anti-skid strip here and then the pretty lighting below. Again, the nice um, stainless steel panel here. Everything is just finished off nice. The trim with the rounded edges, everything looks completely done and intentional. So another new feature for 2024 that I'm really excited about, I think you will be excited about too, is the table on, on the coach here. So it's just integrated into the side of the cabinet here. You just push it and voila, there is your table. I love that, so easy to use. You don't have the lagoon table there anymore. You don't have the table that sticks out, so you can kind of you know brush up against it. This is just integrated right into the wall works easily and then it just goes down super easy as well right below the table we've got two 110 outlets our co2 alarm here's your fire extinguisher for your van now i like where that's located because it's easy to get to if you need it outside or if you need it inside but make sure you go and check out my um, fire suppression video pro tang it's a product that we sell exclusively at national indoor rv centers give us a call today and we give you a custom quote for your van and then right across from that we have our d-ring here at the entryway now the other thing that i like is that we've got a really easy to use screen door so if we're up in the mountains you want to let that beautiful mountain air in but no bugs it's just as easy as that again nice fit and finish totally sealed and easy to use look at the beautiful awning that you get for shade with the Gretsch fan. You can control that from right inside the coach at your Firefly system, and you can extend it or retract it. So you can choose how far you wanna extend it, but I'm gonna go ahead and extend it all the way so you can see how far it goes. And then you've got your lights. It's also a dimmable light. So if this is a little bright for you at night, um, if you're trying to watch TV, or if you just wanna have a little bit more subtle lighting, you can hold the button down anytime you have an, the arrows up and down by the light means that it's dimmable so you can dim that and we can also turn on our porch light from here too your compartment lights all your lights but i'll show you this in just a little bit then we've got our exhaust for the van and then to shut the door we do have the power door so you just pull out the handle let it shut itself Look at the beautiful big windows that you get with the Gretsch fan. Step goes in. Now we can also make a uh, push a button where we can keep that step extended. If we know that we're at the, the campsite or the resort and we're gonna be there for a week, we wanna keep that step out all the time so we can go ahead and turn that off, but it automatically went in. Underneath this panel, we have the fill for potable water. So this is, if you're dry camping, you know, you've got 200 watts of solar power. You've got the lithium ion system in this van. So you can really go off the grid. Um, if you're doing that and you need to fill your freshwater tank, this is where you'd fill it. This is also where you sanitize your tank. And you've got a little clip here. Again, they think of everything so that you can, you know, keep that open while you're filling your tank. Now, word to the wise, if someone tries to open that door, you don't want it, that power door coming when you've got this up. So just um, be careful with that. Always have that in mind. <laughs> and then below this panel, we've got two 110 outlets, our cable um, outlet here. And again, we can open that and just keep that little compartment open. Easy as that. So here we are at the back of the van. A few things to talk about. See that I've got my cell phone here. I've already paired my phone to the van. So now I can control a lot of the features here in the back with my phone. 
So one of the features that I absolutely love on this fan is the power screen. So I can just hit the button, I can bring my power screen down. So again, if I'm up in the mountains or you know, backed up by the ocean, I wanna hear that ocean and feel that ocean breeze all night, I can easily do that without the bugs, which is really nice. Now say we wanna have the screen down, but we want a little bit more privacy, well I can go ahead and bring out the blackout shade too. And you'll see that on the underside of this, it's gray, so it is gonna be a nice blackout shade and it's white on this side, so it has dual functions. So you can bring this down. This can become your outdoor movie screen. So if you've got a portable projector and you wanna fire that up, put the movie here, let the kiddos watch, or you can watch your movie right here on the big screen at night. I love that. So again, look at the fit and finish, nice, clean, um, everything's in its space. I've even seen folks, you know, hang th things off this back area, like extension cords, um, little things that you need to get to quickly and easily. You could, you know, hook them back here with a little Velcro, just an idea. Um, but if I pull this up, then I'm gonna see the back of my sofa. Again, that's gonna make into our bed. And behind here, we've got the disconnect for our uh, Xantrex inverter, which is right here. So if we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at one of our locations where we store at least 300 coaches, um, indoor, plugged in, um, so you never need to worry about your batteries going bad, full valet service. Um, if you're storing your coach somewhere else, you wanna make sure that your inverter um, disconnect is turned off and that your battery disconnect is turned off so you don't have any parasitic draw on your van. So right behind the panel here, if you look back in here, you can see the lithium ion system. So that's gonna give you 1260 amp hours of, of power. And basically that means that, you know, depending on what else you're running, but theoretically, you could run your AC for about 12 hours just on battery power. So that's pretty cool. Now it all depends on how much you're using again. Um, but if you want to learn more about this and see this before the cabinet's in place, go and check out my Gretsch factory tour video where you're going to see um, how Gretsch builds quality in from the get-go on these vans. So at the very top of the rear cap of the van, you've got your camera for your rear camera, then you're going to have your high brake light, you've got your brake lights here on the side, and then if you come down below, you've got your parking assist sensors so to make sure you don't crunch your bumper. And then say you wanna tow something, your hitch is below this plate here. Um, 5,000 pound tow hitch, so if you wanna take your jet skis, a small car, no problem towing it with the Turismo. As I come around to the driver's side, you're gonna notice again the sleek lines across the top. They're gonna to match exactly on this side like the integrated awning when it's in on the passenger side. We've got the stainless steel, Again, and no cutouts, what I absolutely love. Now right here, we've got the exhaust for the Timberline system, that's your on-demand hot water and heating system for the coach. And then below the stainless steel panel here, go ahead and just lock that right up, you have your utility center. Now again, this is very unique. If you're comparing B vans, um, they have a patent pending on this, but I love that it's higher. A lot of times you're down here, almost on your knees, trying to do all the dirty work here. But right here, it's a lot higher. You've got your city water connection. You've got your hot and cold for your shower. You just plug your shower hose in here. You've got a cable connection here. And then your 30 amp uh, shore power cord connection. And you can also light this compartment. So I'm gonna grab my phone and I can turn on the compartment lights, super easy. So if I happen to be hooking up or breaking down camp when it's dark, this is gonna make it much easier. So below here, we have the black tank and gray tank dump. So your black tank dump, T-bar, gray tank dump, and then where you'll attach um, your stinky slinky to your gravity dump here. You may be wondering what the size of the tanks are for the Turismo. So your freshwater tank is 16 gallon, your gray tank is 26, and your black tank is 13.
Gretsch makes a much bigger window, so it's gonna bring you a lot more light when you're inside of the van. Also, something that unique that Gretsch does is that they give you a bathroom window. Let me tell you, in that small bathroom, it makes a big difference to have a window. It just makes it feel that much bigger. So it's another feature that I love on the Gretsch. Also, you notice that Ed Gretsch puts his name on all of his products. So that's kind of his stamp of quality. If it's gonna have his name on it, it's gonna stand for quality. And that's both in the product and quality in the after service care as well. Now, right inside the front door, we have our fuel fill for our diesel fuel tank, 24 gallon diesel fuel tank. All right, are you ready to go check out the inside? I'm excited to show it to you. So here we are inside the Turismo. Here to four, there's only been one floor plan. Some exciting news. Today I'll get to show you the second floor plan, which is a twin bed model. So that's very exciting. You'll see that you've got two options for your wood. So a dark wood and a light wood. Um, this is the Swiss Chrono um, hardwood cabinetry. Beautiful, beautifully finished off with the radius corner here. I mean, they just, the fit and finish of this thing is phenomenal. We even got the powder coating that matches the wood color on the aluminum framing here. So again, that's not gonna peel. It's not going to bend back because it's nice and strong. And just know that all cabinets um, are attached into steel. So again, they're, they're gonna be nice and strong too. And you're gonna have tons of storage. So we've got the hinges on the door going to hold that up and then when we push it down just locks in securely more storage here we've got our little Bible here with all of our manuals and more storage here so this is all right above the galley kitchen so this can be your pantry space it can be you know you can use this space whatever works best for you then we have the two burner induction cooktop with the solid surface countertop and note this year in 2024 they've given us the accent lighting underneath the countertop which just looks phenomenal again just brings it that extra little height of luxury we've got the residential faucets and then we've got this you know prep area now remember we can extend this prep area with our extra table that we can fold right up and then we've also got our nice rectangle farm sink here so very nicely appointed kitchen a little storage for our sponges and brushes here great little drawer there and nice big drawer underneath our induction cooktop Now below that, we've got our microwave, convection, air fryer. Yep, all three. How great is that? Love that feature. And great storage drawer below that. Across from the galley kitchen, we've got our refrigerator and freezer. Nice little compartments here. Plus our freezer and our little mini ice cube tray. Love that. <laughs> nice and cold and then just above that we have a huge storage compartment along with our solar charge controller for our 200 watt solar panels that will give us the amps that we're bringing in there then we've got our sony uh, blu-ray dvd player our cable input here our over-the-air antenna we can turn that on and off here and then we've got a storage spot for our first aid kit which Gretsch gives you your 30 amp shore power cord and your shower hose for your exterior shower. So right here at the front of the B van, when we walk in, we've got our Firefly control panel. So we can just tap that and you can see there's a lot of things that we can control the function of right here from this panel. I can also go to the setting button here and then go to the mobile app. So you need to download the Mira app and then just scan this, put in your PIN code, and then you can pair your phone to the Firefly system here so you can control all the, most of the things that you can control here at the screen from your phone. So it's just another nice option. Now here at our home screen, 
we are going to be able to extend and retract the driver's side ottoman. So if I extend that, you'll see right there, that's gonna to contribute to making our full size bed in the rear of the coach. So go ahead and retract that. I can do that with the passenger side as well. And then this is where we can bring the sofa down. So just hold that. And my sofa is going to come down and we can easily power it to make that bed. So bring in both ottomans. And the bed's ready to go. It really doesn't get any easier than that. <laughs> if you watch me do a lot of my videos, it, you know it doesn't get any easier than that. I love this system. The other thing I like about this is that you can kind of like put your sofa halfway down and you sort of can make it a, like a lounge. So depending on if you just want to lounge back there, read a book, um, you know, it gives you some extra options for that space there. Or just put it all the way up. Then we have our master lights for the coach or the van, so on and off. And then our awning, extend and retract. We've got our tank levels for our freshwater tank, gray tank and black tank. And we can turn the water pump on here. And this is the button. So if I turn the tank heaters on here, those tank heaters that you saw below um, on the freshwater tank and on the black tank, those will automatically come on if I've got it on in here when it's needed. If I don't have that button on, then they're not gonna come on. And then we've got the level of our house battery here. Go to our light button. Again, we've got our master light on and off. And then you can see each light throughout the coach that you can turn them on and off. And then again, if they've got the arrows up and down, those are dimmable lights and our outside step, we can even light that up, which is really nice, nice safety feature. And then our ceiling accent lighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. So you can see it takes away that blue light, but I really love that. I think it kind of gives it that extra luxurious feel. So I like that extra light there. Next we can go to our electrical settings and it's going to let us know what our power source is. So it's from the inverter right now. You can see our battery level is 13.3. It's going down to the inverter and then to the breaker box. The inverter is enabled and the charger, there's no charge. Now, if you want to do a deeper dive and get more information from the system, you can go to the inverter charger and you can go to Gretsch's videos where they go into much further detail. Then we've got our climate controls. So this is another one of those things I'm super excited to tell you about because for me in my book, it's a game changer. So for 2024, you no longer have the Dometic AC unit. You have the EcoCool GRI 15,000 BTU. Um, it's gonna use 30% less amps to run and it's super quiet. I just put the decibel reader on the new eco cool gree ac unit and i'm telling you game changer 51.8 all right so now i'm in the old 2023 unit with the dometic ac unit on the same setting and you can see it's 70 much louder much much louder than the new system in the 24th so you can turn that on right here you're just going to hit the cool. I'm going to go ahead and let it turn on so you can see you'll hear it um, a lot quieter than the Dometic from the get go. So now you can see that it's blowing, my hair is blowing, but it's not this, it's not loud. We're having a nice conversation. It's so quiet. You're going to be able to sleep great at night. Um, you don't even have to have your, you know, back screen open for fresh air because this is so nice and quiet. Then we also have this vent swing. So if you watch right here, I've got them going right now. You can also lock them into place. So say I want to keep them just kind of shooting straight down. They're going to lock in right there. If I hit the button again, they're going to move back and forth. But game changer folks, I love this. 
on the grill unit we also have a heat pump as well so you also have, so you have the heat pump on the grill plus you have the timberline system for your on-demand hot water and your heat once it drops really below like 40 degrees you can set your temperature here you can turn your fan on and the speed your front vent you can power it up here open shut it and then high medium low Next up are your shades. So another great thing about Gretsch, again, something that you won't find in another B-Van that I'm aware of, is power shades. So you've got your door slide shade, your passenger rear shade, your master shade, so you can put them all up and all down, rear doors, driver side rear, and then your power screen in the back. Again, you can do this from your phone too if you pair it. So this is one of my favorite buttons on this panel is the shade so if i'm getting ready to go to bed i want to lights out and nice and quiet and dark i'm just going to go ahead and hit the master shade button and all my shades are going to come down at one time you don't see this in any other b van and then you've got your settings button this is where you can adjust the brightness of your screen uh, auto dimming cleaning mode temperature customize your screen change your time um, again, it's going to let you know information about the coach itself and which version you have downloaded. Here's the battery disconnect for your house batteries. So you want to make sure you do that here, especially if you're storing your coach. And then this is your step button. So this is for the side door step that extends every time you open the door. Once you're at the campground, you don't want that to keep happening. So once your step is extended, go ahead and turn it off. Now it will stay out until you turn it back on. Now, if you go to leave and your step is still extended, you're gonna get a warning at the dash when you turn on the van. So I went ahead and turned around the captain and co-captain's chairs. First of all, it gives you extra seating, so if you've got guests. The other thing I wanted to point out is this is another thing that Gretsch does. So their uh, beautiful upholstery, they add the ultra leather to the captain and co-captain's chairs so that it flows with the rest of the coach. Again, adding to that fit and finish, luxury, high quality product. Now, right to the side of me here, I've got the spot to store our lagoon table. So our lagoon table, I'll demonstrate when we get to the back of the coach, um, but this is a nice space out of the way of everything and you can easily take it in and out right here. And then I love the way they've got this attached to the wall. It's not gonna rattle or make any noise when you're going down the road. All right, so finally to the bathroom. Now this is going to be a nice size bathroom. One of the things I do love is the mirror on the door. So I can even do my makeup out here if I want a little more natural light. The mirror's right there. I've got a hook here for a towel, which I love. Even the door handle will second as an extra towel hook if I need it. Now as I step inside, You'll see that it's actually quite roomy with that radius corner here. I feel like that gives you nice space. Again, we've got our window here, game changer for me. And that is one blind that is manual inside the coach. So you can you know, shut that if you need a little privacy, open it up if you wanted to make it feel bigger. Now we have our shower head here. We can just hook that right up there for a shower or for our faucet. For the sink nice integrated sink here and another feature that i love is your mirror and you can you know mag magnify that mirror if you need to <laughs> you know it happens we all need it eventually um, and then it locks into place too so it's not going to rattle when you're going down the road and another feature that i just love is the is the clothesline here so you can just lock that into place if you want to hang up some of your laundry or if you've gone swimming you want to hang the bathing suits here it's a nice place to do it and then when you want some privacy for the shower you just bring the shower curtain along here for full privacy and then it just stows away nicely if you're not using that shower so that it doesn't get in your way and just snaps into place you've got your commode here then we've got the spot here for our toilet paper of course this is going to become 
your shower drain so that will drain right through here anyway shockingly this bathroom feels pretty roomy for um you know a smaller b van notice again the led lighting and our vent here so that you can actually breathe <laughs> you don't get too uh, fogged up in here that's really nice i think that extra lighting also helps make this bathroom feel nice and big Sitting here in the back of the Turismo, it's absolutely delightful. The soft um, ultra leather is very comfy. Again, this is all powered, so when it's down, it'll make into a bed that's 66 by 73, so nice big bed. Some of the things that just wanna point out here, fit and finish wise again, we've got the beautiful windows. So compare this to any other B-Van that you've been into. It doesn't look like this. Um, we've got the padded wall, we've got the honeycomb behind it, we've got insulation in the walls. They take out the headliner and put insulation in, in there so it's going to help keep this um, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter, which we love. We've got our 110 outlets and USB ports and USB-C port here on both sides. So you can charge your devices cup holders again you can kind of lean this back and make it a lounge kick back on the ottomans and then another thing that i love about the ottomans is we've got this extra little cushion here most um, b vans it might snap into place it might velcro into place but i love how grudge does it because it actually has a so a little aluminum strip here and here and it just fits right into that so you're not gonna constantly be moving that around. It stays where it's supposed to stay. And I really, I like that. Now we can go ahead and add the lagoon table back here. So you can see that we can use this for playing cards, having dinner, however you'd like to use it. So I grabbed my table here. Now you're gonna notice right here at the bottom of your leg, there's a little black thing. This is actually a magnet and it's a magnet that's gonna go right next to that, which disconnects the power to this ottoman. So I'm just gonna slide that into place, tighten that leg up. So then you just put that on there, and now I can move that table around. If I wanna have a workspace back here, if I wanna put it over here, wherever you want that, it's just super easy to work with. And again, really nice, it has a storage place right behind the captain's chair. Gretsch also gives us the seat belts um, with Gretsch. They are always FMVSS tested. That means that they are going to be super strong, secure, pull tested. Remember, they've been doing these in luxury shuttle buses and limos for years. So super high quality. You don't have to worry about the safety of your seat belt, which is really nice. Now, right above me, I've got the speakers. Speaker here, speaker there. Reading lights on both ends and then two 110 outlets on the passenger side. Here is the thermistor for the van. That's gonna communicate with the thermostat so it keeps the temperature inside nice and comfortable. Then we've got our 24 inch Vizio TV with sound bar. Now I can just pull this here and release that so that if I want to direct that up to the captain's and co-captain's chair, I can easily do that. Again, you're gonna notice back here Everything is loomed, zip tied, nice and tidy. Nothing's just hanging out, um, just the pull cord so that I can release that. And then when I'm done using it, I can just lock that right back into place. Now, just above the TV, we have our Timberline system. This is for our on-demand hot water and heating once we drew up below 70 degrees. So you've got your diesel burner and your electric burner here. And you can just set your temperature easily just by scrolling up. Now this is for your furnace and then you've also got your on-demand hot water. So if you're ready to take a shower, go ahead and turn that on. It's gonna be warm for 30 minutes. Um, and then we've got our kind of controls for our brightness, our timeout, our fan speed controls, clock setup, service info, limitation of heating duration. So this is where if I want the heat on for one day, I have it about right there. If I want it on for a couple hours, 
I'll put it here. If I want it always on, then it's going to go to the infinity and it will always stay on. So I'm going to go ahead and just take it down to a couple hours. We have some really nice big storage in the rear portion of the coach. So again, automotively lined. We've got two 110 outlets back on the driver's side corner and we have a speaker switch here on and off. Another big compartment here. And then just above that, we have our smoke detector for the coach. Here's our second Firefly panel. It's nice that they give us another panel here. If you're laying in bed, you don't have to get up and do anything. You know, you can just do it all from bed, which is really nice. Again, this is the Mira app, which you'll download um, to put that onto your phone. Then we've got the Lithionic um, scannable code here. This is for support for them. But what you need to do to get information on your um, lithium system is to download the Lithionics app and then pair this with your van. And you're gonna see that we've got 79% of our battery life left right now. It's also gonna give us our voltage, 13.24 um, volts, 13 amps, our power, battery, BMS temperature, state, and if you see that little green blinking light that's sort of like the heartbeat so that you know that it's working so as we're using the power right now i've got one day and 14 hours of um, power or time remaining with my power then if i want a little bit more detailed information i can go to the next page status code so a lot of information that you can get right here from the app now, there are three ways for you to charge your lithium batteries. The first and the best way that's gonna charge them the quickest is by driving your coach. Um, you can also charge them by being plugged into your 30 amp service, and then you can charge them through your solar panels. Um, again, that's gonna be much slower. Now, another bonus, again, with Gretsch, they always give you that little bit of extra. You can also charge them while you're idling. It's not nearly as fast as when you're driving, but um, it's great that you can do it just when you're sitting in the campground idling if you need to. Below the passenger side ottoman, we've got a compartment here. Now this is not a storage compartment. They even remind us of that. So we've got the brains to the Firefly system behind here. Then we've got the pin out here and we've got our sea level two monitor system and our disconnect for our lithionic batteries. Just across the way underneath the other ottoman, we've got another compartment here. So this is going to be your breaker box, fuse uh, panel here, that fuses for your batteries. Now this is the automatic cutoff for your house batteries, but you don't wanna do anything with this here. You're gonna do that on the toggle switch when you first walk into the coach. So finally to the cockpit area of the Turismo. Right down below the seat, behind this panel, we have the fuse panel for the front half of the coach. And then we have the lumbar support here, so you can adjust that so it's just right for you. So over here on the door, we have a nice little grab area to easily shut the door. Window controls and exterior mirror controls. Handle to get in and out of the car. And then we've got the memory settings, which are my favorite for this front seat. So typically you're gonna have driver one here, driver two here, and driver three, I'd recommend getting your seat in the right position for when you wanna rotate it. Um, makes it really easy, you just have to push a button. So you're gonna to want to adjust the position of the back of the chair, and then move your chair forward or back, up and down with the rear so you get it just right then you're going to want to hit the memory button and the number you'll hear a little beep now I've set number one if I want to go to number three I can easily just hit number three and the seat will automatically go to that setting then we've got the heated seats the unlock and lock nice storage area another cup holder and a bigger storage area below we have the nice rubber mats that come with the coach. Your chassis battery is right below that. To pop your hood, you just pull the lever here. And then we're gonna come up. We've got our light controls, 
so we can have our running lights, auto lights or our headlights on, our fog lights, and then this is the dimmable button for your front dash. Here's the turn signal, right and left. Pull the lever forward to flash your headlights. And then we have our windshield wiper controls. So again, these are automatic, so you don't really need to do that. But we also have the windshield wiper fluid that's inside. So if we push the button here, so cool. Love that feature, plus you, you use less windshield wiper fluid. Using these paddles, you can downshift or upshift, and then you've got your transmission control right here. So up is reverse, down is drive, in is park. Then we go to the steering column itself, leather wrapped, you got your horn in the center. And then if we go to this button right here, our home button, that's gonna give us all this information here at our dash. And then we're just gonna use this as our mouse to scroll through that information. So let's go to our service tab. Let's click in here and we can scroll down. This is gonna give us our DEF level. Go back. Tire pressure monitors uh, once the ignition is on. Assist Plus lets us know that we need service in 662 days. Our engine oil level, if the, again, if the ignition was on, it would give us a readout there. And our particular filter is gonna let us know when we need to burn that off. So again, this is super easy. Just scroll through the information, click into your whatever you need. You can also do that over here, and I'll show you that in a minute. But let's go ahead and go into our settings, hit vehicle. This is where you can adjust the sensitivity of the rain sensors on your windshield wipers and click in and then just go back and you can go down to display so for your def if you want to see that at your dash you can just click and then it will show up below here click in and then go back and now that's going to stay so i'll always have my def reading at my dash this is where you turn the cruise control on and then you'll set it you can take it up a little take it down a little resume or cancel all right from here and this is where you can adjust your following distance while you're driving over on this side we've got the home button here it's going to control the screen which is basically a lot of the same information we had at the dash but right here so again i can scroll through the different options let's say i want to go to my navigation i can click in i can do that i can hit the back button do control the radio, media, get more information, settings, all from right here with my hands on the steering um, column. Then we have the voice assist, our on guard, volume control, and this is where we can answer or hang up a phone call. At the bottom of the steering column, we can adjust where we want the steering column to sit and then lock it into place. When we want to turn on the engine, we just need to have the key fob in a reasonable distance to the button there. So put your foot on the brake, then you just hit the button. We'll start, do the same thing to turn it off, foot on the brake, and then push the button. If you just want to go into accessory mode, you can just do that, just don't have your foot on the brake. Now down below here, if my step was out, uh, on the side door, this light would be lit up and I, there'd be a very loud alarm to let me know that I need to bring that step in. So now we have all the information at our fingertips again. So instead of having to use the mouse on the steering column, I can just use my fingertips. If I wanna move this to where it's closer, easier for me to get to, click it and then I drag it over and it will be first and then just unclick it to save it so I can easily scroll through all that information. So let's go ahead and click into our settings. All right, you have your quick access, go to assistance, traffic sign assist. This is where you can customize, do you want it to be visual, visual and audible, your warning threshold. So you can adjust active lane keep. I wanna have that on, so I'm gonna keep that there. 
active brake assist. Do you want it early, medium, late, or off? I think we want it early and attention assist. So this is when you are not paying attention while driving. If you're kind of um, veering out of your lane, you're going to get an alert. So I'm gonna want that to be on sensitive, go back. And then we've got our blind spot assist and that's just on or off. And of course, I want that to be on. And then let's go all the way to the top. We have camera and parking. So do you want to have an early warning all the way around? It's just an on off, I want that and then you can adjust the tone of the warning pitch. Maneuvering assistance, again, these are all just on and off. Then we've got the vehicle, your acoustic lock, automatic door lock, gas station search, light, exterior, interior lighting, and locator lighting. And then you've got your system. So your displays, this is where you can really customize your screens and your controls, lots to learn and play with. So this is going to be your rear view camera. So you can just click into that. This will be for your telephone. These are kind of your quick buttons, your navigation, and then your radio and media. Your volume control, this will take you back to your house or to your home screen. You can mute or turn off the power to the screen here. This is going to give you quick access to your settings. This will be your audio source button. We have our AC controls, the fan controls, auto, AC, where we want the airflow to go, our hazards, the max fan here, and then do we want to recirculate the interior air, and then our rear defrost. Here is the button that we can open and close the sliding door. Two cup holders, two more cup holders. Then down below the cup holders, we have a USB-C and 12 volt outlet. And just below that, if you ever need to reset your key fob, you just put it in here to reset it. Here we have a nice little coat hook or a hat hook. Grab bar and storage are sun visors. Rear view mirror, same thing over on the passenger side. The center console here, reading light for the driver, passenger. Then we, this light, we have it off. The doors are open, the lights won't go on, but let's say we want the lights to come on if the doors are open, I'm open. This will be the light for this whole area here. And then this is a light that we no longer have with the the changes that we made in the chassis for this van. Then this is if you need service help, this is an SOS. So you push that and then push the button there if you're in an emergency or a wreck. Just beyond that, we've got our spot here for our sunglasses and rear view mirror. In front of the dash, we've got another storage compartment and another cup holder. How handy is that? Then in the center, We've got a wireless charging pad, 12 volt, a receptacle if you want to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and then two USB-C charging ports. Over on the passenger side, we have another cup holder, another storage compartment, another nice little storage compartment here, and then the same controls on the door as we did for the driver's side. Then right below here, we've got an area where we keep the jacks. So hopefully you never need that. So I went ahead and put up the blackout shades so you could see how easy it is. There's a magnet and you just set it up next to the window there. I like to put it on like that and then shut it so you don't have any light seeping in, but you can totally black out the front cab. And then all you have to do in the back is hit the all blinds down and you're ready to go to bed. Well, I can't tell you how excited I am to try out the new all wheel drive Turismo Ion. So are you ready to go for a test drive? Let's hit it. So I can tell you from the very get go, um, the steering is so much easier in the all wheel drive than it was in like the four by four that I drove last year. That's a hydraulic steering system and this is electric and game changer right there. So that's the first exciting thing that I already noticed. Plus 
there's a ton of pickup. Like as soon as you put your foot on the accelerator, you're moving. So I can really tell those two big differences right off the bat. The other nice thing about the all wheel drive is that I don't have to switch into four wheel drive like I did on the old unit. So now I can, it just does it automatically, which is great. So some of the features that I love that you get with the Mercedes Sprinter chassis, you've got the traffic sign assist, the lane keep assist, uh, active brake assist, blind spot monitor. So all these things that are gonna keep you out RVing and enjoying your van even longer and doing it safely. So how better to test the all wheel drive new chassis than the 24 versus the 23 than to have a little drag race? Shall we do it? <laughs> all right. I think I'm winning. <laughs> all right, so I smoked you. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was probably the arrow and not the Indian. <laughs> so, I mean, I know we've both floored it at the same time, but I, I had you from the word go. <laughs> that was rather dramatic. As you know, I drive a Tesla, so I'm used to when I floor it, I get pinned against the seat. I floored it, and I don't know, maybe the timer will show. It felt like a minute or a second and a half to two seconds before I even moved. Yeah. You were a good 20 feet ahead no. of me before I felt movement. And then you just kept pulling away. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was, doesn't have a lot of pickup. The yeah. The chassis, that's for sure. No, the new one, it's instant. So it's, it's pretty dramatic. Yes, it is. So if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I always like to do the decibel reader. So once I get up to speed here, I am going to do the decibel reader. Just so you note, I've got the dash AC on. I've got the rear AC on that eco cool grease system is awesome because it is so quiet. So with all three of those running, we are literally at 66, 63.6. So super quiet. You're gonna love driving this Mercedes Sprinter chassis, I promise you. Um, the only way for you to know it for sure is to come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take one for a test drive. Remember, we have our fly to buy program. So uh, even if we don't carry the Gretsch right in your area, you can get to one of our locations that does. Um, so please don't make that a factor. We wanna take care of you. Uh, you're gonna love this product. It's like one of the most fun things to sell just because I know you're gonna love it. Um, the drive is easy. It's like driving your own Mercedes car. You just have to remember you're a van and a little bit taller, so you can't be going through any uh, you know, fast food restaurants. <laughs> but other than that, it's a breeze. You've got the cruise control. Once you get that set, you're off to enjoy this beautiful country that we have. So it's great for adventures. So, you know, I talk to people every day all day long about, you know, they're trying to decide when is the perfect time for them to get uh, an RV and adventure van like this. And you know what? The time is now because you never know what's going to happen with your health, with your money, with your, you know, life situation. So really, I hate to see people wait when I know that they can enjoy this. Like this is a great weekend vehicle. This is, you can full time in it. You can, if you don't have a lot of stuff, I don't know if I could full time in it, but it's, it's a ton of fun. So take my word for it. Come out to National Indoor RV Centers, take one for a drive. So I'm sure you're wondering, it's the question of the day, right? How much would this beautiful B-Van cost? So MSRP is 234, 900. If you want to know what I can sell it to you for, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RV simply costs less with National Indoor RV Centers. So don't delay. Give us a call. We can finance these beautiful vans for 20 years. 20 years, we take trade-ins, we do financing. We will help make this process as easy as possible and get you out on the road having fun before you know it. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Also check out my pro tank video, my ceramic coating video, and then we've got a new service portal. So when you're bringing your van in for service, you can watch and see what's happening real time with your van. Hope you have a great day and thanks again for watching.